Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribers around the world. Back again, man. <laughs> we, uh, dude, it missed us by that much, man. That, uh, that's what the property's got. It must be a dump truck. I think somebody might be building a building a house up there or something. But, uh, anyway, sorry about that. Bob, i cut that out. <laughs> um, that storm. Man, we were actually out watching the grandbabies. I didn't film any out there, man. I'll tell you a story here in a minute. I should have been filming. Um, ah, oh, dang it, dude. Oh, that bums me out. So I ten and a half double E's. I wear eleven double E's, man. These are that much too small, man. Insulated uh, Cabela's insulated boots, man. Nice. Pulled them out, man. Look at the tread on that, man. Someone picked up somewhere. I can't even remember where I got these. I've been sitting there and I thought, man, I'm going to try those for uh, winter time. Um, I can dig out why they're uh, it's about time to get out of the dang snow boots and everything. I have to do I'm getting ready to grease a bunch of boots. I know, man. Squirrel! I'm getting all sidetracked on everything. Um, but anyway, that storm. And uh, for friends up in uh, Coeur d'Alene um, told me, man, that they had, and it was probably, I think it was around noon or something yesterday, because we were out, like I said, out watching the grandbabies. And uh, they had snow. They had, I think he said about an inch of uh, snow at um, around noon. And, man, they ended up, they had uh Ended up losing all their, uh, holy crap, and we reach in and we spill something, man, it scares crap out of uh, ended up losing all their peppers and all their, uh, tomatoes, and then they were waiting for the first frost, you know, because the apples, man, are right, boom, right at time, just like when I stopped a couple days ago and grabbed them, uh, prunes. And he said they ended up freezing solid, man. All, all their apples, they lost their apples and all their veggies and everything, man. So I'm sorry to hear that. That's, uh, that sucks. But uh, they're getting a bunch of snow up there. Some other friends, man. Snow. I mean, they're getting hammered. Even old uh, Muskrat over in Salmon said he had some accumulation. And, dude, it missed us by that much. Um, that's why I'm getting figured out. I'm going to try a new pair of boots. Let's pull out my snow boots out here. Um, these ones obviously will be on eBay because they don't fit. Um, but there's snow in the mountain. Kevin sent us a picture when he went to work this morning up, uh, McCall, uh, a couple inches in McCall last night. You know, we're down talked about if you watch our videos we've talked about it numerous times you know and we're in a creek bottom you know at the base of the mountains and it did only we had a snow rain mix out of Katie's and they sit a little bit higher than we do and they're along the, the river bottom there um but man it was mixing man it was spitting it was trying it was trying to snow bad but it didn't we ended up getting home or back to the homestead probably about 10 30 last night Man, it was cold and pouring down rain, um, and I expected to wake up this morning with some snow, but other than, you know, the mountains, like I said, tomorrow on the fish fences is going to be uh, fun, but uh, um, yeah, no snow, man, no snow on the homestead, thank you, thank you very much. And then it's actually the next two or three days, we still, this cold fronts came in, it's cold out there right now. Um, but by the end of the week, or in about a week, it's actually supposed to get up. We have, a, I think, a week from tomorrow. You know, this is just predictions, man. It can all change. But a week from tomorrow, they're talking about um, 65 to 67 with low 40 degrees. So, yeah, man, I think it was just a crazy burst. I don't know what's going to happen in uh, northern. Then I actually had some friends from Canada, too, some friends and viewers saying man, that they've got hammered up there. Man, it's hitting. It's bad, man. We just uh, lucked out on this round, so we'll see see what else comes. It's uh, 
I'm sprinkling now when I actually came out and started doing this. It was actually coming down pretty good, and I thought it was getting it was kind of a slushy. Like I said it's pretty it's cold enough snow but right now. So we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Let me tell you about this uh yesterday. Um out there watching the kids and uh, Katie and Tim's place, you know, I've videoed or showed it before and stuff. They live down there, um, you know, kind of, they're in the, the river bottom, you know, and the, the pine trees are even closer to them than they are to us. So they're right, right there. Um, which really doesn't matter when it comes to bears, you know, because obviously I've had my bear issues here. They like these creek bottoms and river bottoms. Well, the kids out there, they've got... You know, we went out there and I did that video where we picked apples and crab apples and all that stuff out there. So they have quite a few fruit trees and stuff out there on that property. And um, yesterday, I got a new light for uh, um, Sissy's room for her bedroom because her light was broke. You know, a new ceiling light. So I'm putting it all in. And it was one I picked up at a secondhand store or whatever man but you know brand new in the box and everything but it was missing the dill that actually holds the globe thing on so i thought well i'll go out because there's a place man it's nice i've showed it before that mobile home if you look back you'll see i always talk about and then all you new viewers welcome to all you new viewers and you can go back when i talk about this stuff go back and look on the videos you know that's um i think we have over a thousand videos out there so there's been a lot of stuff that we've done over the years but uh I showed that one. It's kind of a nobody's living in it. It's not livable. Everything. It's a double wide mobile home. Nice, you know, nice structure and stuff. That's the one where the uh, starlings have uh, taken over up in the ceiling. So I mean, there's a lot of work that needs to be done to it. And then the skirting. It's been, uh, you know, there's a big old hole in the one end of the skirting. And then they had some kind of uh, plumbing problems, and they've ripped out the floor in the master bathroom. I've showed all this before. Okay, and then actually there was a dead bird. Um, it's still, you know, still had feathers and stuff, but I mean, it's been there, it's been there ever since they moved there. And anyway, so putting this long story short, <laughs> dude, none of my long stories are short, <laughs> or none of my stories are short. So, anyways, I'm going over there, man, because I need this little nut to hold this globe thing on. So I go over there, which it turns out there's they didn't have any of those kind of lights. So I'm just got walking through there and stuff, and I come in the back sliding glass door, and, and then there's a nice wood stove in there, and look down where that bird was, dude. There's no bird carcass or nothing left there anymore. You know, this is inside of this double one. You know, just a few feathers. And I thought, wow, that's, you know, that's kind of odd. Maybe a cat got, came in here and took it or something. And, um... So, man, I go, you know, looking around at the globes and stuff, you know, man. I go in every room. Do, 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 do. You know, I kept hearing rustling stuff a little bit, but, you know, nothing. Birds, man, starlings up in the ceiling or, you know, whatever. Mice, I don't know, raccoons, skunks, who knows. So, all right, so I do that. Can't find that. So, I'm like, I'll go look in the shop, man, see if I can find something. So, I bop out the front door because I came in the back door, bump go out the front door and get down off of the deck and as I come around I see a big old pile of you know it looks like bear poop I'm like huh I guess it could be cow man it sure looks like bear crap and I look around like this and dude there is pile after pile after pile after pile after pile after pile of bear crap man and they are full on you know it bear crap man with the seeds and the you know, everything in it. And I just, man, and I just stop. Man, I'm looking around, start looking around, you know, in the bushes and stuff like that. Because, I mean, and it is fresh. This is before any of the snow, anything had hit. Looking around, man, I'm like, dude, there's a bear here, man. He'd been here like, uh, that stuff was almost steaming. So, you know, of course, you start, you know, totally, if you've ever dealt with anything like that, man, a whole totally different demeanor or whatever comes over you. So I uh, go walk over and where their road comes in, because this is pretty good. It's probably 100 yards or so from there, you know, this place is, maybe a little more even, to theirs. So I get out on their main driveway going in and 
man, I'm standing back looking at all, you know, and of course, just, man, I'm just scoping, you know, man, you get into that, that zone and just looking for any, you know, anything out of the ordinary, any little bit of movement, anything to see if that dang uh, bear's in there, in the bushes there or something, and man, I'm looking, and then it starts to dawn on me, and I, or I start thinking, and right at the end, man, there's a hole, you know, it's about the size of this picture, you know, maybe even a little bit bigger where the skirting's missing. And I start thinking, dude, that bear, that wrestling stuff, that bear is underneath that mobile home. And then that bear, when it goes underneath that mobile home, it can go up into the master bedroom, bathroom, and come up into there. That bear is what got that carcass of that, uh, that bird. So then I'm like, holy crap, man. Because I walk around there, and man, it's the same thing like when I came nose to nose to that bear out here when it killed my goats. Is, you know, when you live like we do, um, it, is too, it is so easy to get too comfortable. You know, I walked by that mountain lion that was underneath my dang truck that time. You know, man, it was from here to, here to you. You know, I go bopping by it, man, and that mother... I never even, you know, you get too dang comfortable, man. When you live like we do, you know, man, and she, then I've been around these mountains all my life. So, I mean, you know, you know, I know to always pay attention to your surroundings, but it's so easy to get into that comfort zone and not think about that. So, dude, that bear, if I'd have came nose to nose with that bear, man, one of us would have jumped through a window, and if it would have been me, he probably would have chased him. He would have ate me, man. <laughs> so that just freaked me out. I'll tell you what, the size of that, uh, the size of them turds, uh, it's probably a big old sow. But she's, man, it's a good sized bear, man, doing its business there. And holy crap, man, that made me uh, think, oh my goodness. So then, you know, so I'm walking back, you know, man, a totally different demeanor now, looking around and stuff. And then I'm thinking that my daughter walks right by there, you know, with within, I don't know, 20 feet from all these piles of crap every morning with my grandson up to the, because they have to walk by there. They walk from their house all the way up their road going out of there all the way up to the main road to, uh, Catch the school bus, man. I'm like, oh. So, I, uh, you know, the kids get home and stuff, and man, I'm telling Tim, I was like, there's bear crap out there. And he's like, no, man, that's cow crap. I seen one this morning. And I said, are you sure that was a, a cow and not a bear? And he's like, well, it was black. And I was like, exactly. And I mean, his, right when he said that, his eyes, you could just tell he was like, holy crap. So we're pretty sure he's seen that very yesterday morning out there. And um, the property around there, is, which I've walked out in the videos and stuff out to the river there, the whole property around there is actually leased out, and one of the ranchers run their cattle on there. And um, Tim said the last few days he's noticed that there was a cow out there. And anybody can make that mistake. Now, when you look out, there's cattle in all the pastures, you know, running around. You can hear them, man, you know, and everything. And you look out, and there's black, something black moving out there, you know, and it's kind of broke up because of the trees and stuff. You're just going to assume, you know, and a big old bear, if you've ever seen bear, man, in the wild stuff, um, they're about the size of a good-sized calf. So, uh, that was a bear you was seeing out there. So that, uh, holy smokes, man. So uh, there's a little story of that. So it now, uh, Katie Joe will be driving TNT up there, and um, probably gonna go over there, and we're gonna. Tim, I told him needs to block off that hole, so I might have to take him something over there and try to block that thing off. But want to make sure there ain't no bear, and I ain't crawling under there to see if there's a bear under there. So I don't know what they're gonna do about that or what we're gonna do about that. But that's pretty crazy. Anyways, out here cleaning up some. Uh, now you're doing these boots, and then I went over to the uh, trailer, and it's getting pretty roughed up. It's pretty sad, but this is actually a, just had to show my old bass. I haven't had it out for a while. Six and a half pound bass that I had mounted years ago, man, 25 years ago or something. And it used to have a little bluegill right here that was mounted that fell off, and it's getting pretty roughed up. But this is out there in that trailer I talk about, man, I've got... 
the trailer's probably not 80, well, probably 80, yeah, 70 or 80 percent full of, uh, of more books. And then the, uh, you know, and you, if you have cam trailers, you want to cool seal the roof every year. And I've done that, but even, even that, uh, I ended up losing a bunch of books I've talked about before, too. That's all I got, man. I'm just babbling on. It's too dang cold to go out there and do anything, really. The sun actually just popped up, so we'll see how that turns out. All y'all up north, man, be careful out there, man. I hope that, I hope that, uh, this winter don't become like the old timers, but I believe my old friends and the old timers are saying we're in for it, man. And, you know, I watch the animals and live as close to nature and the earth as I possibly can. And all indications, man, is we're in for it this year. So I got lucky and missed this one, but there, there's more to come. So please remember to like, subscribe. Oh, I was actually going to talk about that. <laughs> Um, I had a couple people, one was, uh, Gregor was asking about that stone pistol bowl, asking about that being on, if, when I was going to get that on, I put it on the eBay store, so you can check out the link below. Um, I just put on a couple of old axes, some other stuff, I'll probably, uh, I was actually going to do a, um, eBay video today, but I wanted to tell you about that bear and then talk about the weather, because this dang snow and Oh, it's just crazy, man. It's not even, I guess it's into September. But. But so check out that, man. I put a bunch of other stuff and a whole lot more to come. And then there's going to be some, I got some more white boots and uh, um, snow boots and all that. And first, I got to find me some boots to wear tomorrow. We'll take you along on the mountain up there tomorrow and get some wood and go hike in. We get to hike end of the big one tomorrow, so... I gotta and I gotta haul in uh, batteries to the charger in there because that charger's been having some issues. And then when you have the snow and the clouds and all that kind of stuff, I gotta go brush my solar panels off. But uh, this kind of weather and the clouds and stuff on them fence chargers is a tough time to keep them going. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. Helps keep the lights on. The home fire is burning, and good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.